You are now locked in to the Sitting Down with the Sisters podcast. Thank you, Ashley. Hallelujah. You are the most high. <laughs> There's only one. Only one. He you said, he said I am the first and the last. Hmm. I was dead. Now I'm alive. Hallelujah. <laughs> wow. I hold the keys to death in Hades. The key. He's the key. Thank you. He's the king. Yes. No, we're the keyed. He's the king. No, but he was the keyed for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> not me getting corrected. So yeah. It was a key. It was an old reason. Yeah, it was the kid, the kid, yeah, of Mary. Now he's the king of the he, world. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Anyway, Jenny's <laughs> 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 stopped me. She doesn't know. She's tired. Wow. Right. This is what I have to deal with, the one Oh. He's hey, Devante I knows. Mean, you know, but do you know what's so funny? funny? She's saying she has to deal with this, but she's a part of it. No, no. She's a part of this movement. Yeah, they yeah. forced me. I have no choice. <laughs> yeah. I have no say. That's, That's why good. she didn't finish Child for God. You know, there we go. We won't go into it today yeah. because today we, we have, have been blessed. <laughs> we have been, honestly, guys, like honoured. One thing about us, yeah, we, we like to laugh, yeah. right? But genuinely, we are so proud mm-hmm. to have the guests that we have today. Okay, who you wow, see here wow. is an OG. Like when you talk about people who have seen us as a trio <laughs> from the beginning, from the very beginning, yeah. even before like sitting down with the sisters, this is someone who's seen it all. Yeah, who's seen it all. Yeah, yeah for sure. Wow. From so, the bedroom. <laughs> from the bedroom. <laughs> that's it. That's how you know he's been there. He knows when oh, the bedroom. The first episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start. Mm-hmm. We're gonna introduce ourselves as usual. Yeah, but we're, but. We'll you know who ahead. we be though. You know who we be. Yeah. Our Spotify rap let us know you know who we be. Come Don't scream it. Worldwide <laughs> too. Worldwide too. For real. Two. That's Why a good one. Seven countries. Seven countries. That's a good one. That's you tell them. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're your hosts today. I'm Temi. I'm Ashley. I'm um, Ayo. Welcome back. I feel like I had to take over. Yeah. They weren't going to do no, it. So we thank you. We would have kept going. We would. <laughs> yeah. But welcome um, yeah. back to mm-hmm. the Sit Down with the Sisters podcast. Um, yeah. We have. So I don't even know how to introduce For him real. because he's a creative, mm-hmm. he's a visionary, he's an artist, a man of the people. For real. A musician. Mm. And, and a an man artist. for the people. <laughs> Yeah. Let's give a warm welcome to the one Mr. Vaughn, Mr. Vaughn. And um, we have the honor of having Devonte here with us on the release of his beautiful EP. EP. Woo, everybody. Woo, 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 woo. Everything to gain. Everything to so, gain. So, did I hear it on Kiss FM? Like, do we? Did you hear it on Kiss FM? Was that like, yeah. like, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. How are you feeling? Like, sorry, can we get you talking? Yes, yes. Like, how yes, formally introduce yourself? Course. Like, tell people who you are, yeah, like, yeah. what you yeah. do, yeah, just everything. Sure. I mean, yeah, to you guys as audience, my name is Devonte Vaughan. Wow. Recording artist from Hallelujah. South London. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, Repping. Um, yeah, have to. Have to. <laughs> love have that, to. love that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's the main love. And I have interests that, that span, like, fashion and mm-hmm. creating dope pieces of work. With my guys as well, um, visually, and yeah, I don't know. I just feel really blessed to be able to like pursue um, my dream. Mm-hmm. Mm, um, nice. So within that, through with whatever we're making, um, again, music at the forefront. Mm. The main thing I want to do is just um, have it connect with people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and in this release, boy. <laughs> Yeah we're, yeah, we're seeing a lot it's more. It's serious. Of that. It's connecting. Yeah. yeah. It's making noise. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say something because obviously, as we said earlier, Devonte's been our friend for years yeah. at this point. Um, we all went to the same sixth form. But <laughs> there was a time. To be studied. It's to be studied. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Because he was like, he doesn't want to be on the pod, but he'll come and watch. And he came, he came and sat in the studio with mm-hmm. us and mm-hmm. he just came just as a friend, just mm-hmm. to support, just watch what we were doing. As he does, yeah. yeah. And he said, no, but one day 
he will join us on the podcast when it's no. the right time when it was the right time so Devonte, tell us about timing yeah okay, mm. tell wow. us why that was your decision why yeah, why wasn't it the right time then plan? why is it the right time mm. now? now yeah because essentially I believe in like I don't know there needs to be some kind of momentum mm. because me coming on this podcast to me is a big deal because <laughs> like, <laughs> like yeah because you guys have my support you know what I'm saying mm. um and I believe in what you're doing as well. Thank you. Do you know what I'm saying? This one who said, oh, she was, didn't want to be in front of the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. Both of them were we like said, that. We said, we I, yeah, we, we said, said a lot, lot of things <laughs> that we've just and gone saying, back on our word and God is working. Yeah, I'm saying it's That's rubbish. It. Because it's okay. like, you guys should have been. Call us out then yeah. on, our, on our own no, podcast. For real, it's rubbish because look at the amazing work you've been able to do. Mm, so real. if I'm going to come on, then mm. obviously there's going to be eyes. But eyes for what? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. People's gonna say, Oh, okay, there was this guy on the podcast, but for what? For what? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I was I, w- I just wanted to come and watch, you mm. know what I'm saying? Because it's like I like I like seeing you guys do your thing. Oh. And we're busy. So it's like we, are. we don't really have the time. time outside, yeah. you know yeah. Not like before. Not like before, because at, at this stage in life, it's like when you do see your friends the most, it's probably because you got a business with them. I don't mm. know. It's crazy you know mm. for sure. Everyone's building. Everyone's yeah. building something. For real. Yeah. For real. Yeah. So that being said, cool. I wanted to come and just, you know, just show with you guys and see you see, just be just see it. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. After watching it for time. This makes me so happy. So I'm so the, happy. Yeah. Like. Um to answer your question, when I was obviously asked to be on a podcast, I'm just like, nah. We'll wait until the right moment, and I always knew this EP was gonna drop. Oh, wow. um, and I knew that when the EP dropped, I'd also be ready to speak. Mm. But girls, yeah, <laughs> I had no idea when like what I would go through to mm. be ready to mm. speak. Wow. You know what I'm I, I had no idea what was waiting for me. Mm-hmm. Is it fair to say moment. it's been a lot? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's been a definitely. process. Yeah, mm. it's been a process. Mm. It's, it's been a process. That's oh, wow. fair to say. And I'm just so happy that that we're here. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I think you're gonna have to elaborate on what the process has been because yeah. I feel like with anything. <coughs> so even with the podcast for us, for instance, it wasn't this at the beginning. Of course, it's it's crazy because to think that we're here, especially after Spotify unwrapped and all of those things, and like seeing the actual statistics of what's been happening, it doesn't feel real because. You live your life like everybody's living their life day to day. You're not, you don't live watching numbers, in it. Numbers are such like a abstract part of what we do, mm. but they are the sign of growth yeah. for a lot of things. So right. it's crazy to see something go from an idea to become a, your a reality, passion, mm. to become a reality, and it's actually growing and it's impacting people's lives. Right. So mm. In the same way, like, what's the process been like? What, how has it been? What yeah. took, what, what, what brought you here? Basically, mm-hmm. what brought everything to gain to us? Oh, um, <laughs> I mean, essentially, there's the love of music, and then there's my inspirations, who are all very much life-based artists. Mm. So that that would sort of encourage how I would want to communicate if mm. I'm on a microphone. I need to be saying something. Yes. So there's that, but um, through the stages of like um finishing uni i was like pursuing music throughout uni as well Mm -hmm. and i was a part of my team society of alumni coming out of uni now we're we're going through these drills every sunday we had to have songs ready had to have songs ready and i'm picking up different skills through like the writing Mm. exercises that we're doing and that ends from writing freestyles and all of that to then create an original music Mm -hmm. the original music then starts and then um that winter of 2019 um, I have a session with a producer that Mac introduced us to, Eternal, mm. um, who's who's been a godsend for us. And yeah, we had that first session mm. and we made a banger. Mm. Like we made a banger. Wow. Um, the song Twice. Yeah. That's on the EP. EP. Yep. But that was in the midst of loads of other songs that I was creating. Mm. Yeah, you know I'm saying. And then fast forward, obviously 2019 leads into lockdown and mm. throughout those uh, two years, I'm just recording, recording. It's locked down, so um, Eternal's back home. Um, he, d- he doesn't live in the country. Mm. Uh, he does now, but he didn't live in the country back then. Mm. So I was sending him samples, like, bro, let's try this. Mm. I'll list t- random stuff, like Japanese pop songs from the <laughs> 80s. Mm. Oh, wow. And I'm like, yo, E, can we take this part, mm. loop this part, I love this, da 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 da. This right. guy will come back in like five business days with mm. a banger. Oh, wow. mm. And then I'd record to it, mm. you know what I'm saying? Nice. So then by the end of that process, lockdown, 
I'm even, I just want to be so far away from where I was. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, even like let's say from a financial standpoint, it's like, damn, like I want to be up. You know, I'm there like listening to music in my room, working out, just dreaming of like being far away. Like I want to go, what's Miami like? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what's Art Basel like? You know what I'm saying? These are the places that I want to go. Um, but not even financially and travel wise, I had to like, I had a lot of like healing to do and self acceptance to oh do gosh. because there were so many things that I was insecure about mm. as as a person that was like coming of age. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And to be fair, maybe it's like things that I didn't have to necessarily worry about, mm. but I knew that okay, cool. I'm at I'm like 24, 25, and like this is man age. This is man time. Do you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, so where's this manly feeling that, mm. that I need to feel? Do you know what I'm saying? Of mm. course, financially, I want to be a provider, but like, where, you know, where, where am I w- within all of this? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Not knowing that, you know, to be a man, you just have to take care of your responsibilities. That's it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You're I pushing. think Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, so by that point, maybe, maybe I put more on my plate than I needed to, mm. but I just felt like, I just felt like I was lacking. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I felt like I, I was lacking something. So I was working really hard to just be one with myself. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, mm. So that also leads to like other ambitions that like grew. Because mm-hmm. I always had ambitions. I always had things I wanted to pursue. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, through that like pursuit of like a different kind of self, a deeper level of self-love mm. and also wanted to be up a lot of that just bled into the music. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and the things that were happening at the time. You know what I'm saying? Oh like, wow. yeah. So just like in life, mm. that, that was happening, the things that I was seeing and things I was feeling. Mm-hmm. So would you, um, sorry, I was just going to um, say, do you, would you say everything was basically pushing into that one direction? Was there any point in that journey where you just thought, you know what, maybe this music thing isn't for me? Mm, because when, question. as creatives, it's never, I don't know, I've never it's really heard the story to be a straightforward, like, this is, I, I've, to be fair, sometimes people can say, this is what I want to do, I've and no matter known, what's yeah. happened, I've always known this is what I'm focused mm-hmm. on, but it might have been lockdown for some people, it might have been mm. mental health or whatever, or, yeah. you know, just that struggle with, am I a man, or, you know, what you just said, so was there any point where you felt in that process that I'm not sure. Mm. Musically, no way. Mm. Like, I, I know. <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> no you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. If anything, that was my refuge. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, music, music was the refuge. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you're true to it. Yeah, like he's I, not I, new. He's not new. To it. You're true, true not new. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was that. That was that was my refuge. It was mm. so fun just being able to just create and just record, 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 record. Because mm. whilst I'm like doing different things to like you know be like one with myself and stuff and you know like i I would take like breaks and just walk around mayfair while whilst recording the project okay just to make sure it matched because i wanted this Hmm. opulence he said i need to i need to envision it i need to be ahead when it releases what will it be yeah 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 yeah. that you're creating a Mm. mood exactly so nah it it didn't it didn't nah that that never came the only the only doubt i've ever come across is like do i have what it takes to be operational to be organized enough Mm. to do what i need to do because me not making a deadline or doing what i need to do it doesn't just affect me Mm. it affects my team Mm. and and they've put in way too much work and way too much time Mm. yeah for that not to be like yeah so that um, feeling of making sure you don't let let them down people down yeah yeah Mm. exactly exactly but it 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 does it does start with yourself as well definitely it does um yeah that's the that's the only thing i've ever questioned it's Mm. not my want for it Mm. because that's always going to be there but like do i have what it takes to really do what i need to Mm. do to focus the discipline to focus to have discipline Mm. to do what i have to do instead of what i want to do yeah that makes Mm. sense as well because what you want to do it's not always, always what, you what you have to, to do. do. Yeah. 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 For right. real. Right. And I feel like that goes beautifully into the next question is that me and my sister were talking about this, how sometimes 
um, you have to do what you don't want to do in order to have what you want. That's mm. right. And um, we're not talking about illegal activities. Oh, no. Never. <laughs> well, we are talking about sometimes, say, working at a job that you don't want to be at mm. in order to fund, like, yeah, right. something Certain that you love or something yeah. that you genuinely want to do long term. And I was just saying to her, like, I use you as an example because I think you're such a beautiful example of someone doing something say something that you don't want to do long term or you don't see yourself being there forever in order to fund mm. your dream in order mm. to fund what you want to do long term mm. and like even what you're doing now even though you don't want to be there long term it still mm. fits in with your to vision. with your vision and yeah, your purpose right. like right. for example like you working in fashion, fashion. the fashion industry mm. like that that works hand in hand mm. with your music because yeah. you know you get to network with people That's all right. the different people that you meet and mm. the fashion that you're you see because you <laughs> I know this is something light as well. <laughs> like this is this is just on like a normal day. Like yeah. I wish oh people could God. see. Was, like she sometimes, was always gonna do sometimes, that. sometimes when like sometimes when I meet like when we meet when we meet up or sometimes when I see you at Temi's event or just whatever mm. and we see you like you're someone that always stands out in yeah, terms of what you're wearing. Yeah. So you can tell like that goes you hand in hand that. in hand. Mm. So to piggyback off of Temi's question, has it ever been frustrating like to work within the fashion industry knowing that you don't want to be there forever, but you know that if you're not here, how are you going to fund yeah. your dream? Or how are you going to fund your, your music? Or, yeah, yeah, just any industry prior to fashion as well. Like, has it ever been frustrating? Every week. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it. Every, Facts. every week, because it's like, I really just want to be in a place where I get to do what I like. Love. love all the time. Mm-hmm. All yeah. the time. Yeah. All the time. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. like, I can't lie. Even outside of myself, um, like just just separating like what I do, let's say like the brand of the musician or whatever, mm-hmm. like the bigger that is, then it's like everybody else gets to raise up because mm. their dream is also attached mm. to what's going Shout on. Shout out to the oh, wow. members. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, the That's what you call that. De- <laughs> <laughs> she dragged me. That's what you call destiny helpers. Oh, right, 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 you don't right. just have people around. And that's why we always say we're big believers in not just being around people for the sake of being around pe- mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. like having people genuinely that align with the people type of person you, you are mm-hmm. and the person that you see yourself being community yeah. community yeah, that's, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. That's, like, like, that's been the, the one of the most important important mm. important things because mm-hmm. that's like, something we've seen in you like even nah. even from six form days yeah <laughs> sometimes like sometimes we'll ask the volunteer, oh like do you want to come chill with us and he'll ask us like oh who's there Right. And we'll tell him <laughs> well, and then when we've listed the names that are there, he goes, Oh no, I'm going home, like I have to work on music, I have to do X, Y, and Z. Mm. And it was like you were very intentional yeah. from the jump mm. with who you even if it was just like a chill time at six months, you saw the bigger you've been seeing the bigger picture. Yeah, that's why we're here. <laughs> And you know what? Can we touch on sixth form quickly? Because I think when you were speaking about the journey, when you were speaking about the journey, we were talking about you were talking about from uni onwards, right? Mm. If we throw it back a little bit to sixth form, mm. yeah, let's take it back. The thing is, these two might know the answer to this question, but for some reason, I don't think I do. So, right, right. I think Ashley might have answered it. Answered it actually. So the music, the the vision has always been there since sixth form. Yeah, yeah. From the sure. big, really, like in terms of you being a creative, that's yeah, just oh, that's no, been there. No, no, it's been okay. there. So, you know sorry, can I just say an Go example? <laughs> Go, let Ashley yeah. talk. When we were, when we because we used to study media together, yeah. Right, you did In media, yeah. We'll be doing work, yeah. <laughs> sorry. I look at Devante's computer. Devante's on a fashion website. <laughs> I'm, I'm, lo- I'm looking at him thinking oh like what's this he's like oh like this is just like a website that I've come across where they post like really cool fashion oh wow lo and behold he's been he's been posted on one of like wow. the platforms that yeah, he's been week. admired this week yeah, on Monday so yeah. it's just it's full, it's full circle it's full circle and yeah. I was even going to touch on your attention it's to detail mm-hmm. because not the thing is about creating a brand is so important and this is something that i find inspiring about you actually because mm. you've thought about everything you've thought about the community you want to build yeah. around your music you've thought about every from the hoodies that you you've got out at the moment to the midnight way, at the vanguard <laughs> <laughs> stream that if you haven't heard stream it, it. Mm. stream it but like from that powerful to like the way you market yourself so it's mm. so consistent mm. yeah. like all your branding like all your social media posts everything like that like it's cohesive mm. yeah and that so really true. makes everything look so much more professional and mm. it looks like it has a vision and, and it looks a goal. clean mm. and honestly 
that's something a lot of people need to study because yeah. it's not easy to do that mm-hmm. like it actually requires a lot of work and a it lot of discipline and discipline mm-hmm. because to post and be consistent on social media is one feat mm-hmm. talk less of all that content being good mm-hmm. and knowing your brand mm-hmm. yeah, yeah exactly so honestly like yeah honestly that's so that's sorry I, I cut you off answering temmy's question no it's so good your question was um so from the sixth form yeah, yeah. like that's oh, yeah, the vision's yeah, yeah. been like, less than six form basically and thank you so much by the way for for the kind words yeah. <laughs> he's serious. the facts of life you that's know. Serious. he's, he's um, the key the <laughs> <laughs> but no uh so like it hit um because year above i retook yeah because um yeah no no i mean so because um yeah I just oh i just i just realized what you said okay yeah, i wasn't i wasn't focused on school at all mm. um where was your mind yeah. at oh it was on everything that oh, okay. i'm doing now it yeah, was on yeah, that yeah, page yeah, yeah. it was on like music mm. yeah basically um like i started sixth form i was hoping to like be in an environment where i could be around people that are like-minded because i spent the last two years of high school just hating it like mm. i checked out by year 10 so mm. come to sixth form now i wanted to go to like some kind of college or something Creative where it's like yeah where hub. i can like find my tribe finally mm. mm-hmm. and this was so beautiful about the situation because i fought tooth and nail to try and get to a different like college or whatever mm-hmm. oh wow um and then end up at harris and it's like what not not en- not end <laughs> up not ended, up ended up at harris not yeah. the ending up it, it was, wasn't even the last resort yeah. like yeah. I, yeah. I just yeah. i just found myself there yeah. like <laughs> literally, literally, literally we're just in this cute <laughs> jail in these Ooh. gray suits no, gray right. i know there was no creativity like, like we all had to dress like, the same yeah, i know no, right. and right. i'm like damn i will because we're near the brit school obviously yeah. so yeah. i've seen the brit kids go buying their own clothes i'm there on the bus like oh I'm but um That's i was crazy. nice mad mm. but i'm listening to so much music mm. um and i always have done but i was listening to so much music um mm. from people that weren't even too far from my age mm. and then i'm listening to kendrick's and the joey's and mm. like stuff from tyler so like pretty much from the end of the blog era all these artists that i'm listening to mm. um are really inspiring me childish gambino as well mm-hmm. and um yeah kendrick even you know like like the most mm. rocky too and it's like i just remember um through that winter um i think kanye's uh a beautiful dark twist of fantasy i bought that album as well i was listening to that a lot and it just sort of came together mm. into this moment where it's like this is what I want to do. Right. Mm. Like this this is it. Yeah. This no is questions. It. There's nothing yeah. else. No there's like, nothing else. There's mm. nothing there's nothing else. Mm. It was just such a culmination of like inspiration mm-hmm. that was just building and you up felt and building it. up. Yeah. And I felt it and I just I just started writing. And that's the I, best I haven't looked mm. back since. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So by the time you guys met me now, after I, like I failed the year because yeah. I would just was not <laughs> no, this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what's so mad that if you never retook, we wouldn't know you. And this timing. is what is so beautiful. We wow. would not we, know you. No, nah, for real. That's what's so beautiful because it wasn't until I left sixth form and went to uni now mm. where I realized, oh, I've actually met my lifelong friends already. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It's deeper. Wow. It's deeper because we always, when you're not on God's timing, like if you, if because we can't see what God is seeing, mm-hmm. we yeah. we thinking we're behind. Yeah, mm-hmm. we've missed that out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like no, but God had a plan. Mm-hmm. He had a plan. Yeah. He's yeah. always had a plan, mm-hmm. and we're never out of His plan mm-hmm. because we are. There's a certain level of our lives we cannot control. Mm-hmm. Right. That's the God. That's the God factor Facts. of our lives, and that's yeah. just Facts. that's just the reality of life. Sorry to kind of like go kind of back to the process just because i think this will be interesting to know sure, sure. um as like our kind of wrap-up question it's like you went to ghana and i remember you saying because hmm. obviously that's the homeland for you mm-hmm. the motherland and i know you said you oh. needed to tap into certain parts of yourself and everything yeah, like yeah, what did going yeah. back home do for you Woo! <laughs> you're waiting for that one yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what you know what there was a there was an episode where you went to Nige yes. and you came back mm. and Temmy's breakdown one. no Temmy's breakdown of Nige it <laughs> was, was exactly so it, was, it was so like <laughs> it was so it was so considered oh okay like 
this just the points that you was mm. making breaking mm. it down i'm like ah, do you know why i was so considered because why? whilst it was happening in the moment i remember bringing my phone out and type like I'm, typing, when yeah. i come back on the right, pod right, this right. is what i'm gonna give people okay. because this is what i'm living right now like i made sure i took it into like yeah, specifically yeah, yeah, wrote yeah, yeah, those yeah. things down no nah, for real so that was in my mind a lot just to just to pay attention mm. i don't know what for i mean i know i'd be telling stories about it but mm-hmm. I, I made sure to like you know sort of like recognize the moments right right and i was kind of paralleling it to some of the things you said in and that what, what did it make was it true like did Listen, you experience some of those things no i definitely did mm. it was like you see all this all this manhood manhood shit like i pardon me um i felt like I <laughs> in the moment in the moment it's fine he says sorry 99 <laughs> percent um no i i came back like I, I knew myself. Do you mm. know what I'm I met myself in a whole it's different. Kind everyone of way. says that when you so like, when you go when back you go home, back home, it's, it's spiritual. Yeah, it's, it's spiritual. Very spiritual. Mm. Like, that's that where you li- the root. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's when wow. like the next my whole life I feel was leading up until that point. that point, and mm. then after I went. I could start the next phase of my life. That's because, when you came back, no, you were so different. No, facts, because you no, were so different. Trust me, no matter where I go after that trip, mm-hmm. like my feet is like firmly stable. planted. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you're preaching. Exactly. Because you know where you're coming from. Mm-hmm. And you want to know where you're going. Yeah. 100%. Mm-hmm. So my goals were all right, cool. I might want to go to like, I mean, a castle and things like that. Um, I would I would want to go spend time with my elders, even if mm. I can't understand them, just to spend time around. Did you just sit in their well. presence? I remember yeah, your content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Nice. Yeah. And, that um, must have felt good. It was it was beautiful. Mm. Let alone the oldest um like living family member from my mm. mum's side. Mm. She speaks perfect English. Oh, wow. Mm. wow. Yeah. So like we was able to co- like oh, okay. just talk, wow. talk. Yeah. and she's real as well. So I could, mm. I could she says it as it is. Any, yeah. yeah. I could talk to her about anything. Like okay, I how do you do with people at mm. work or like girls, for example? Mm-hmm. Like we, we could speak about because the well, elders they always have those nuggets, like no. those you know they the have things the that you the wisdom that you can honestly, take away. Honestly, I met my grandma for the first time. Oh, wow. Yeah, I met my grandma for the That's first beautiful. time. It was insane. Mm. Let alone being in a country where everybody looks like me yeah right. that, that must be like the maddest yeah because we grew so up viral. like we grew up here and like it, to an extent if you grew up in south like us there's a certain level of like diversity we've got where it's like okay a lot of us are black but to go home mm-hmm. and you're all Nigerian you're the majority or you're all from Ghanaian, same, yeah mm-hmm. it's or Congolese, yeah, obviously. you're Shout the majority girl. Mm-hmm. DRC, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> you bonjour, um, bonjour. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's like there's something you just realize we were made to be together, like mm. we were made oh, wow, to live yeah. in community. I don't know how to explain yeah, it. No, like, the way, when, we, when you get to the UK, you realize people are trying to do isolation and all that, yeah, all like that we wasn't clicky. created no, that we, way, no, not hmm. at all. And you realize how unawkward people are, right. They're like, just bold. Honestly, they're just bold and so comfortable yes. with one another. Yes. They're not bold in their own skin. Yeah. It's like, no yeah. offense, you'll be on your way somewhere. And obviously, I'm new to the country. Mm-hmm. So I'll put like one of my uncles on the phone with the mm-hmm. driver. Got you. Or like, they my are aunt, so and they're friendly. Like they know each other. They are so yeah. friendly yeah. back home. Yeah. Everybody's so somebody's friendly. dad and, and somebody's auntie. Quickly, mm-hmm. not to like move away from what we're talking about, but mm-hmm. with me, I feel like even though I came here when I was a lot younger, there were still certain things I remember. I, I've experienced both part and I can definitely confirm like back home, everyone is so friendly and, you know, okay. they do mm-hmm. things as, as a collective. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, like it takes a village, whereas mm-hmm. here, like I remember it's every my parents, like my parents, parents having to get devices. used to just that. They, one thing that immigrants always say when they come here is like, life is just boring here. Like mm-hmm. everyone, like imagine, I mean, out of courtesy, when you're going to someone's house, it's good to let them know you're coming, but in Nigeria, you could just rock up to yeah. the house. Yeah. I'm here, open the door, yeah. you know, just that community. There's, feel. Not, there's so it's many not, technicalities. Yeah, like you can't do this, you can't do that. Like mm-hmm. that's why things like the whole parties are just not happening yeah, in our generation we've anymore. Our, we've spoken right. about this. Back, yeah. You know, when does the last time you lot went to the oh. <laughs> label? I know about no whole parties, but I do go to the label. <laughs> you can catch me there. Lightly. So you can catch me at the label. Uh, not nah. the bar. <laughs> I'm saying you can catch me there wildly. Yeah, real quick. Oh god. Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna do this. Hey. I yeah. should be. We should be talking about no, the one time. No, 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 no,
we'll, we'll go to events. Me and Matt will roll to events, like music events or whatever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Even mm. art shows, they can be cool, mm. but they're a bit stiff. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They're a bit stiff. Even if the music is decent. You know what I'm it's saying? It's cold. But I like being around <laughs> my people. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's different. Like it's different. It will people. always be different. So I don't even care who's there <laughs> at your parties. No, we have a good yeah, oh. like, I'm I, I feel I'm part of the majority that's there because I know everyone in here. What's anyone going to say to me? Right. Yeah. Yeah. This is my house. That's, that's, so. that's the vi- that was the vision. That was no, the vision. No. I remember when we had the, this is like the first time I'm speaking about an event she on the pod. Talking. I don't speak about my Sorry event. For yourself. I'm doing this for you. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember like the last event that we did, like you've said this, it reminds me of someone came up to me and they said, they said something along the lines of, wow, like your event, I met someone that I knew from like uni that I hadn't wow. seen in so long. Yeah, like I didn't even know they existed anymore. That, and that was our chance to connect. Perfectly. And I was like, amazing. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's what we do. That's mm-hmm. what it's for. That's, and what, it's amazing. All about. that's what it's all about. That's why so we're here. Trust me, glad trust you can me. experience that too, <laughs> no, Devon. So that's the new visionary. Hall parties. For real. Mm. For real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not but the new really quickly, just tell us about your EP. It's called Everything to Gain. And I find it so interesting whenever like an artist releases... I always wonder, okay, what was the, why did you pick those songs specifically to go on the EP or album, whatever, and why in that order? Like, I re- always really mm. find that interesting. Mm. So, you do get like, to pick the order, or is it just, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so give us a, a breakdown. Uh, so, I mean, like, the first question being everything to gain, yeah. what, why did you title it everything why, to gain? Okay, why, so I titled it everything to gain because. I felt like um, as as me and the guys was running around, obviously Mac, rest of the guys at, at SOA, um, there was just like a term that I felt I needed. I don't I don't know what I'd need it for, mm. but the term "nothing to lose, everything to gain" was kind of like on my mind because we was all on a pursuit. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? All on a pursuit. Um, but it's a it's a beautiful title because like um, the. The title asked me questions. You know what I'm saying, and my and Mo as well. Big big shout out to Mo as well. He was questioning me deeper than I was questioning myself right. about the title. Mm. You know what I'm saying, because where I thought, okay, I wanted riches. You know what I'm saying, I wanted like nicer clothes and stuff. I wanted to be able to like travel and like mm-hmm. have extravagant experiences around the world and whatnot. Mm. Um. It's so much deeper than Enough. like anything financial because mm. I had to like make peace with things I didn't like about myself. Right. You know what I'm saying I had to learn how to like love myself mm-hmm. differently because I thought I already did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, but um, to be just at peace with with who I am, mm-hmm. that's a gain. You know what I'm saying mm. like, it's the biggest one. Wow. Trust me, um, mm. like you know. Even like, okay, there's things, maybe family. Mm-hmm. Thing. It's like having to get over that for, like, and forgive, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and make space for that. That's also another game, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, man, like beyond the flipping um, riches and stuff, again, there's also like insecurities that come with not having the best and the this and the that and the this and the that. Definitely. And your self-worth can come for those things. Mm-hmm. Why? You know what I'm saying? Mm. It, sh- it really shouldn't. Mm. It really, really shouldn't. So mm. I had to dig even deeper to figure out what those things are. Um so yeah once you gain that sort of like inner love and that peace with yourself as well um then you're able to like move through life a lot Mm. more gracefully definitely yes from this particular point that we're starting at with this ep it's not just a gain of like riches and possessions and stuff like my interests are my interests you know what i'm saying but it's also a gain of like i don't know self Mm-hmm. In a sense, like the next step, I want to trust myself more. Yeah, you know what I'm saying we get you wisdom. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, yeah, trust me, wisdom. So it's like on the cover, you see different stages oh, of yes. Mm-hmm. So it's probably some of them you recognize. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. Some of the versions of myself you may recognize from sixth form mm-hmm. to uni days mm-hmm. to today, mm-hmm. and then the future. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying, wow. and in the future, yeah, gaining, Powerful. yeah, gaining that self trust, <laughs> which I'm working on now, mm-hmm. um, in maneuvering and getting things done, mm-hmm. I feel like that's gonna unlock um, 
yeah, like more than I probably ever imagined. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? Um, because yeah, mm. it's it's fine to have ambition. It's birthed from ambition a lot of mm. it, mm-hmm. um, and some of the ambition is birthed from pain. But yeah, moving forward, I think having mm. that like even more oneness with self, then yeah, yeah, I think I'll gain more than I, I would have imagined. Can imagine? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And, and just to to wrap up, where can everybody get it? Mm-hmm. The where intro, can they guys, find you? The intro to this EP, I just need everybody to take it in because Ahead when I was listening time. to it, I said, "That's my friend." Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is professionalism. Mm-hmm. Wow. This they is didn't, quality. They didn't make this in the gutter. Yeah. <laughs> what did they you get made, from the intro? Do you uh, know what? It, it felt so crisp and clean. I don't mm. know how to explain it. Like it was so high quality i felt like i was there yeah. for a second i was like, i had to pause and i remembered like i'm li- actually listening to like, a song wow it was really por vida yeah wow that was one of the lyrics that mm-hmm. stood out to me vida means for life for li- love that in spanish for life <laughs> maybe. and i just came back from tenerife yeah wow you know maybe <laughs> that's, that's, that's no why you it up. No she said por vida that's the spanish you know, know i try my best but um <laughs> that's no, why you honest, picked it up that's why you get I just loved your cadence, like your cadence, the yeah, way you sound you on so a much. beat is, like I've always found found that you sound so, like it's crazy to me Smooth. that you're my friend because you sound so good. Yeah, you, know, you have friends that make music. You be wondering, oh, oh heavenly okay. father, right. yeah, no, but facts. But, but with you, you, it's like you're like this with music. You, I, I music, never have a like, problem yeah. with sharing your stuff. With, that's it. Never. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, that's never. That's how you know you make good music. Like, make good music. Uh, you don't yeah. have you. You don't have to ask us. You don't have to be like, oh, guys, like I need you to do this. I, I never have an issue with it's doing it because I know problem. whatever you release quality. is quality. quality. Mm. Like it's a reflection of you. It's an extension of and you. And you're meant sure. to be doing it. Yes. Sure. So yes. Uh, all all I'm trying to say is, where can people get the greatness? Mm-hmm. Where can they find you? Mm-hmm. What's next? What? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the project you can find on all streaming platforms. Whether yes. you listen to music, that's where I am. So yes. Apple Music, Spotify, mm-hmm. Amazon. You um, need to put it on SoundCloud. You need to put it on SoundCloud? <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Say no more. Say no more. Okay. We're, we're we'll make it happen. Mac. Yeah, we'll make it happen. We are on Audio Mac as well. Mm. Um, yeah, so that's where you can find me. Devontae Vaughn, mm-hmm. everything to gain. My socials, Devontae Vaughn on everything as well. Um, that's TikTok, that's IG. Mm-hmm. That's Twitter as well. Get me on Twitter. We're there too. Mm. Um, yeah, and that's that's the project. Mm. YouTube as well. Check out the videos. We've got videos coming. The House on Worth video it's just phenomenal. dropped as well. Listen, Thank you so call much. It, call it. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, that, that video is beautiful. Yeah. Um, yeah, Mac was there as well. Yeah, shout out. Shout guys, out if, you, um, if you saw that. someone throughout this video, yeah. like just holding <laughs> the shadows, just yeah. walking yeah. around that as well. Mac, we have never seen something like this. <laughs> Also, we need to say Devonte came with his own look, content yeah. creator. Look, 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 yeah. look, look, Show look, yourself. Oh. That's Please, it. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> because like, love I'm it. Done. Like your your level of commitment to documenting your journey you is something that up? is is it's just incredible yeah mm-hmm. so honestly we wish you all the best yeah. for everything that you're gonna do for and sure. you have to come back yeah yeah oh do. no no for sure definitely. i definitely have to come back yeah, yeah. Where, wherever you, you guys to are i'm gonna be gonna be <laughs> I, I don't know about all that, but what I will yeah. say, what I will say is that I definitely will be back. Wherever yeah. you yeah. guys are is my home. Mm. And also oh. I have so many thank yous. Thank oh. you to the team. Mm. Thank you to Mo. Mm. Thank you both so much. Mm. Mac. Mm. Love. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, my family as well that have created the foundation for me to be able to pursue my dreams. Yeah. Yeah. The foundation. The You're foundation. powerful. That's no, important. Honestly, the foundation. It's true. No, and um, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. thank you to you guys oh, as well. I am time. so, We so, love you, so honestly. We love you so much. Here. You guys have shown me so much love and oh, support. Yeah. We've Devante. shared hella laughs as well. <laughs> and we'll continue to, make, we'll to continue. laugh. Yes. But Man. yeah, from the shows that you guys have been to, yeah. um, Thank you. Yeah. For the oh, you're welcome. For this project as well. Anytime. No, for yeah. real. Anytime. I'm, I'm just I'm just very grateful. Oh, um, yeah. that. that's so cute. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep growing together. That's it. So that getting better, getting better, getting better, getting better. You can't just getting better one, one time. time. Hallelujah. So that's it for this week, guys. Make <laughs> sure you go and stream everything to gain because you have a lot to gain. That's mm. it. There's a calling on and your life. And the only gain, the real gain, Gain is Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. That's all we've got. To That's say. all we have. <laughs> we'll see you we'll on our next, next episode. Week. Bye. <laughs>